Yeah, and our Bhaktivinoda Thakur uh, in his Bhagavat uh, talks about himself when he was younger and he didn't like the Vaishnavas at all. They were just sentimentalists, you know, until he finally read Bhagavatam and the life of Mahaprabhu and he realized what it meant to be Vaishnava. He said, oh, it's so hard to overcome the prejudices of our youth. <laughs> it's like that for all of us. So, Guru, again, you are flipping the script that there he's saying that the prejudices of his youth stopped him from understanding uh, Vaishnavism in his youth. But you are saying that it could be for us, the, the impressions from our youth may actually affect our understanding of Krishna consciousness now. So, <laughs> why, why, do you, why do you think someone would actually believe? that women are less intelligent than men. I mean, what, what, what would compel someone to actually believe that? Is it Shastrik? Is that, is that really what it's based on? Or is it something that comes from some other influences? What would possibly compel someone to actually believe Prabhupada thought Hitler was a good person, a gentleman? Is it really because Prabhupada said it so many times that it was indisputable? Or is there something else going on in terms of needing to believe in the absoluteness of the Guru's teachings? I mean, come on, let's get real here. Beautiful. You know, I was reading a book recently about, uh, about say, how people learn. So when people read a book, what they remember from a book tells not so much about the book as it tells about the reader also. Hmm. There you go. 